I enjoyed making the books that I made a little while ago so much that I thought I would make another one. But this time I thought I'd do it with an Alice in Wonder themed cover as well. So I'll quickly go through how I'm going to do that. I've got some paper here and this is out of an old sketchbook that I had. And I cut the paper down to size so they're all this sort of size. So this is 24 centimetres by 16 centimetres and all I need to do now is fold these in half and get them ready to have the holes put in them. Well now that I've got everything folded up that I want to use, the little tip that I found is to have a piece of paper like this and that is exactly the same width as there and that should fit in there just right and on there as you can see I've got my little holes marked out. So what I'm going to do is use my braddle to make those holes now and then I can just put that in there like that line up the edges make sure it's in the middle and then that is where I'm going to put all my holes for sewing and it looks like a much easier way of ensuring that all your holes are lined up yeah and all my holes are lining up now <laughs> Yay! oh Skillshare is an amazing place that method has worked tremendously. I now need to cut my string ready and this is the wax string that I've got now and put a little knot at the end of that. I'm going to pull the first one through up to the knot in that one. I have also learned that you need to pull it that way to tighten it up rather than that way because if you pull it that way you're more likely to rip the paper and I don't want to be ripping the paper and I do want this to be quite tight like that. I have them all sewn up now and I have to say the more you do the better you get and the quicker you get as well. It didn't take me long at all and how much neater they are. A few extra tips really makes a difference and now what I need to do is glue that spine and I've got hold of some proper glue now as well which will make life a lot easier. Yep that's nicely covered. So what I'm going to do is leave that to dry and then I'll do another coat of that over the top before I do the next stage. I've cut out the bits that are going to go on the inside of this and attach to the cover and one of them is playing cards and the other one is hearts and all I need to do now is glue along here and then attach that to this cover and then I'll put a weight on that and let that cure up. Well I've prepped the cover ready to glue that up. To get this picture falling where I wanted it to fall I've had to kind of make it quite tight. There's not an awful lot of gap going on around the edges but I don't mind because I really like the picture that I've got going on the inside. That's going to be where the cover's going to go and then I'll fold it over from there and I'm going to use a normal PVA glue to glue this down with and brush it onto there and then glue it on. And once I've done that, once I've glued it down, I'll put a weight on it and then I'll come back to it tomorrow. I'm going to leave it overnight now. Well, this is all glued up nicely now and I've managed to get hold of some of this. It's like a cloth that has got sticky on it and I'm going to be using that as the bit to put across the spine. Now this stuff is quite sticky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to centralise this up as best I can and then fold it over both sides. Put that on the spine. Oh that sticks on there really well and then that will protect that spine. Oh god that's so much easier than gluing a piece on. And now what I need to do is attach this to the cover. But before I do that, I need to finish this cover off. It's all glued up nicely. Pop a bit of glue on either side. I'm going to do the, these two sides first and then these two sides. Now I've got those two edges glued together. I'm just going to glue these ones together and let that dry up. Shouldn't take long. And then I can attach the actual book to the cover and then we're done. Now time to put the book inside the cover and all I'm going to do is put my glue on here. Make sure I'm covered everywhere. Make sure that's up the right way. It is. Push those two covers down and then in between that I'm going to put some baking paper like that so I can shut the book. Put some weight on it and let that completely dry. Well, my Alice in Wonderland book is all finished now. I'm really pleased with it. I like the inside covers that I've got on it. 
and the pages inside. I am definitely getting better at it. There's no doubt about it. What I do need to do, I think, is give a bit bigger of space in the spine. Other than that, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's come out lovely. And I do like the fact that it's got its own little bookmark in it as well. There's a little bookmark and it would make someone a nice little doodle pad or a sketch pad. Let me know in the comments if you like this book. It's quite an easy skill to learn. I learned this on Skillshare, love Skillshare, and I'll leave a link to Skillshare in the description below. If you want to learn more about how I got on with my first books, I'll link that video at the end of this one. So just tap on that and you'll see it. I'm, I do three different books in that one. Please boop that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there. This channel is growing nicely now. And if you're in first time viewer, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future crafts all the links for everything that i've used today are in the description below take care enjoy your crafting bye